people of Las Vegas and the surrounding counties, please, a big welcome for Mr. Jensen Ackles and Jerry Powell. Thank you. So Richard Spate, uh, Chuck Blessing, um, did us the wonderful favor of reminding us before we got on stage that this is the last ever q and we'll have while filming Supernatural. Oh, come on! Well, he gave it to me, I wanted to pass on the misery and sorrow. Yeah, you're just dishing it out on yes. this, basically. Debbie Downer, Let's <laughs> we lost an hour of sunlight today. Oh, no, we gave an hour of sunlight? We lost an hour of sunlight. We lost an hour of sunlight. See? How's the weekend going so far? Great, that's what I have. <laughs> Until I came up and uh, get me down, everybody. Uh, thank y'all for coming out. It's been a long time. Um, I think it's been the longest we've gone without seeing you guys. Yeah. Well, was it? Yes, yes. <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, for, front row. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> true, true, true. Uh, but uh, we're grateful. Well, we've been busy shooting you to that the final season. So after this time, we won't have that excuse anymore. <laughs> Which is not good for us. <laughs> not quite. Um, okay, well, without further ado. Let's ado. I like to do it. Let's okay. do a little bit more. <laughs> Who wants to see him ado? <laughs> I do. Uh, yeah, apparently I don't. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, let's. Let's go. So I was going to ask you, since they're setting I'm up. I'm good too. Thanks for asking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> no, we're very volatile right now. <laughs> well, I was going to ask you, since they're setting up for the pool tournament down down the way. Who would win at a pool tournament between you guys and your characters? Would anybody make it to the final round? You mean a swimming pool? <laughs> I, would, I, I do make uh, big splashes. I do do wonderful things. Uh, I, I think Sam would probably be Jared. He, well, yeah, yeah, clearly the the Winchesters are they're written to be these you know pool sharks that you know that's that's how they would get money. That's uh, you know that's how. A whole episode written about it recently. Um, so, I, and, and he and I are both. We can, we can play. We can hold our own, and you know, in, in a bar somewhere if we need to. But I don't think I'd want to hold, try to hold my own against the Winchesters. Yeah, I'm sure we'd win a few games, and then they would up the bet, and then we'd lose. Sandbagging. Yeah, uh, but it would be fun. Um, so my question is for Jerry. Um, I got high about it. I'm just wondering if you ever get frustrated how often Sam's trauma is played for comedy. Oh, good question. Um, I didn't used to, but now that you mention it. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, do I get frustrated? Um, I don't get frustrated that Sam's trauma can sometimes um, be used for comedy. Uh, I kind of dig it because and I, I love it. Me, uh, <laughs> no, I, I kind of, and maybe even in real life, I've uh, maybe been forced to confront the fact that the, the best thing you can do about shitty situations sometimes is to try and laugh at them and uh, and, and find the humor. Um, I'm thinking of one story that I'm not going to share because it's probably inappropriate. Uh, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll find out. Tell you guys. <laughs> Yeah, some other time. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> you know the story. Uh, yeah, I actually, I, I like it. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I was forced to laugh at a crummy situation, uh, and it helped me out more. So I guess I'll uh, stick to it. Thanks. So it's a two-part question. One. 
how many years do you think it will be before the Cowboys win a Super Bowl? <laughs> it's only been 25 so far, so I'm sure it won't be much more than the 25 or 30. And the second part was when... Are you a Raiders fan? No, 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 no. Who do you watch? Well, I was wondering if we play each other in the NFC Championship game. But I don't know who you are. How many points the Seahawks would win by? Oh, It's, uh, you know, it's tough though. It's tough to win championships these days without cheating. changes a whole bunch of things, see if we stick with the same uh, O-coordinator, which I think we should, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. So I'm going to give it, I'm going to give, I'm going to say two, three, three seasons before we're at the big dance. I'm not saying we will win, but I think we'll get the big dance in three years. <laughs> and a, a, boom. a childhood dream of mine kind of came through yesterday, I was uh, at a sporting event five sets away from Michael Oden. So, uh, yeah, I got to nerd out and take a picture of him. And I was like, I like, I sent him to my dad, and he's like, hee hee hee. I think exactly like that, hee 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 He's like, why is the big guy laughing? I like, hate um, um, But I, I actually, I am not a Seahawks hater. I really enjoy watching the Seahawks. All my kids were born in Seattle. Um, and so, I think I'm a sometime Seahawk fan. They're, they're pretty classy. And, uh, not that much of a thing. <laughs> Listen, how about them cowboys? But, uh... yeah. All right. Thanks again. Michelle, I want to thank you for the past 15 years of Supernatural. <laughs> and my question for both of you is when's a reunion movie? That's a good question. I'm going to say two, three seasons. I mean, three. Um, well, I don't know if, uh, if, if this if end of this season paints us into a box to do that. <laughs> I'm kidding. We painted ourselves in the worst box. <laughs> Always not a way out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I do know this. We're game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've always, always, I, since, since it was determined that the show was going to end at 327 episodes, um, I've liked to think of this as a see you later, not as a goodbye. Um, so... I, I don't know when that would be, but uh, yeah, uh, they have my phone number. <laughs> uh, my question is, um, Carry On My Wayward Son, you know, has become pretty much the anthem for the show and the SPN family. If the show had not been able to secure the rights for that song, what other song do you think could become the new anthem for the SPN family of the show? I mean, I, I go here because this is probably my second favorite, or this is one of my top favorite music cues of the show, but Sticks Renegade. Yeah. Yeah. It's that having been said, uh, I, I will forever associate Carry On The Road Zone with, uh, with Supernatural. Uh, happily. Uh, and it's an honor and a pleasure and to be able to, to meet the band and, and see them play it live. And, Pretty cool. Another one of hee 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 hee
I mean, I, I could probably come up with. Let it go? Tw yes. <laughs> yes. You get me. For some reason, Highway to the Danger Zone just came in the back. What about playing with the boys? <laughs> we need a beach volleyball scene. Um, no? No? You're gonna love the finale. <laughs> Footloose? <laughs> I can go all day. Uh, what would you pick? Oh god, I have no idea. Carry on my memory, so is just so perfect. Yeah, it is perfect. What, what would be your song for the weekend? For the weekend? How about You Can't Touch This? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so since it is the final season and the brothers can sit down at a table and pick a last meal, what would it be? <laughs> Why did we get to do that? I didn't read that part. <laughs> uh, a last meal. Man. Could it be a Las Vegas buffet? <laughs> of some of the blue stuff. Some of the yellow. Some of the yellow. <laughs> Don't you get your thumb in there. Uh, I, think, I think Sam, for better or worse, eats for fuel. So he'd probably just have some boring salad or something. But you don't need fuel. This is it. This is it. Bye bye. What do you need fuel for? I didn't say I need fuel. I said Sam needs fuel. I know what I would have. I know what I'd have. In fact, I'm glad you asked. Because I took a picture of it the other day. And it was on the TV. And I was like, I need to try that. You took a picture of that on your TV. <laughs> what's wrong with you? That's what's wrong with me. Look, it's KFC fried chicken in between two glazed donuts. Yeah. I need to get a new screensaver. My kids won't cut it anymore. Does it come with a defibrillator, or does that? <laughs> Who cares? It's the last meal. <laughs> yeah, because you ate it. <laughs> it could be the last meal. Right, right. It doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to kill you. I think that was part of the commercial too. It just said, "Last meal." <laughs> I love this idea. I took a picture of it on my phone. Yeah. Here's, here's, just so you know, here's probably how it happened. Jensen's probably on the phone to the owner's trailer, having a, a legitimate conversation. No, I was at home. Children. No, no, I know. I was with the kids. I, I was like, shh, shh, kids, what? And we wind that and look it up one more yeah. time. <laughs> Sam, Arrow, here, hold these knives. We'll be right back. That was the remote. Rewinds it, pauses it, gets his phone, takes a picture. Uh, yeah, that's impressive. I don't know if I've ever had a picture of donuts and KFC on my Well, and apparently that commercial did not hit you as well as it hit you. <laughs> I, I sent that picture to Misha, and underneath it I just wrote, America. <laughs> you damn right. <laughs> what would your last meal be? Oh, oh you can ask the question. You can dish it, but you can't take it? <laughs> you know now, don't you? Pizza with pineapple. That's pretty. That's pretty. I know. Me too. Can't put fruit on pizza. Jason, <laughs> tomato is a fruit. Tomato is a fruit. Blueberries? <laughs> <laughs> Tomato 
what is a fruit. Don't give me that crap. <laughs> Somebody clearly made a mistake when they labeled that fruit. <laughs> but pineapple should be outlawed. That's ridiculous. <laughs> See, now you pissed him off. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Thank you. That's very. That's a very brain answer because that's a, that's a very. That's like. A that's a dividing point. line. Now I'm upset. He's sneezing. Hey, look at the picture of the donuts in the chicken. We do have it. Wait a second. It gets like this sometimes. Okay. Thank you. Hi. I have a question. So if you had a hall pass, either oh. a black chance. Don't answer what it. What would you have it? If I had a hall pass? A hall pass. Wait, I want to hear you ask the question. <laughs> Will you say it one more time, please? A hall pass. Yes, not just, that's not the question. I mean, I, I, I zoned out for a second. If we had a hall pass. Dude, if you be? had a hall pass. Who would it be? Who would it be? Girl or boy? <laughs> Which hall? You've got toe sticks. <laughs> I finally get an audible laugh from Norton and he won't give me a rhythm shot. <laughs> uh, Stephen Norton. <laughs> Which one of these is the eject button? <laughs> Last one shot you ever took from me. <laughs> I, I heard the words coming out of my mouth. And heard the words. Uh, my buddy who was with me in Vegas this weekend reminded me that when I met some of his friends, um, they invited me to a sports bar to watch the Cowboys game. And uh, as I got there, the waitress came around to order, and for some reason, and I was like, I'll have the you know, cheeseburger, double cheeseburger, uh, easy on the cheesy. And, uh, and as soon as I said it, like the table got quiet, and I was like, oh shit, I just said that, and everybody heard it. <laughs> I've never said it before in my life, and um, easy on the cheesy. Uh, luckily, she walked away and made not mention it for about 10 seconds. And that's all they've mentioned ever since then. He's like, hey, easy on the cheesy. And of course, I was serious. Uh, Hall Pass Miller Boy, he really wants to answer this question first. <laughs> I'm touching that question, man. You're crazy. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll go with actress. Um, uh, Jennifer Pepper. Basically, just giving up your hall pass, you're just gonna stay in home row. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna, there are many ways to respond to that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's a great question, but it won't be answered. <laughs> Who would be your hall pass? <laughs> if you had to pick one person on this stage. I wish the gag reels were hours long. Because the hours are free. Um, 
I have found myself watching Daggerdale's more often than I watch the show. Um, you know, down the YouTube rabbit hole, I'm like, okay, I have to wake up in six hours to go to work. Uh, just, I want to watch that gag reel. You know, two hours later, I watched all the gag reels three times. Uh, but I wish, you know, beginning of season one, and, uh, you know, Misha's first. Uh, I wish we had evidence of Jensen and I talking about this new guy, Misha, that was hired. <laughs> and Jensen's words, something in the effect of like, yeah, he's, 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 Interesting. <laughs> and he looked over and he's like sitting on the back of a truck. Like, <laughs> like a ferret. I tell you, I tell you. I tell you, man, something's off. <laughs> we're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess some of the earlier stuff. We, uh, we had a real lot of fun filming this show. Um, Moment to moment, we 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 laugh a lot. We joke around. We kid. You know, people ask us a lot, "What you know? What's your favorite prank?" And, and we don't really don't really prank per se. It's it's not like these elaborate, thought out things. We're just constantly messing with each other and having fun and joking around and palling around and and making goofs and. You know, even if it's something as, as old school as just pulling the chair out, and, you know, to, to to really over the top elaborate ones like trying to break Misha's nose with a pie, and, <laughs> and filling up his trailer, filling up his car with how much was it? Uh, it was it was enough change to fill up his car. <laughs> um, so, but I guess my point is, um, the gag reel captures some of that. In fact, there's enough gag reel material. The gag reels every season could be two hours long. Um, and that's that's still not all of this, all of the, the funny crap that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I I'm I wish I could capture all of that and just bundle that up into like a 10 disc box set. <laughs> You know, because that's that's really uh, that's one of the many things that I'll, I'll miss uh, dearly is the the fun that we have because we're such a uh, tight group because we're so close and because we have that camaraderie uh, and, that, and those those friendships and we I mean even when it's 14 hours into the day because Richard Space directing <laughs> and we all. Could have been home hours ago, but we're still there, take after take, after useless camera setup. <laughs> um, we're still laughing, and we're still having fun, and we're still making jokes, and we're still keeping each other uh, engaged, and that's the kind of stuff I wish that we could bottle up, but I don't know how we do that. <laughs> um, so we were wondering, you guys do have so much shenanigans on set, and a typical episode usually takes you eight days to film. How long would it take without the shenanigans? <laughs> I think longer. I really do. I, I really think if you're doing something you enjoy, if there's a there's a flow to it. Um, you know, if, I, if I, I could read a thousand pages of a book I enjoy quicker than I could read a hundred page textbook that I wasn't interested in. So I think when you're having a good time and when spirits are high, you're more likely to be engaged and involved and reciprocal. And I think a lot of the reason we're able to do this huge show in eight days, because there's a lot of shows that do eight, 16 to 18 hour days, you know, and still don't have all the um, complications we have. Uh, so I really think that would be like hitting the brakes. You know? Nobody laugh. It's not going to make you work faster. Or yeah, it's it, it is. It, it, I think the the morale that we keep on set is it keeps people engaged with doing what they're doing, and it is. It's like a fuel, and because we're still enjoying what we're doing, and we enjoy each other's company, and we're laughing, and we're cutting up, and we're we're, get, we're still getting the work done. I mean, I'll never forget when you know we've had guest stars come on set, and we're 
doing our thing, and then we snap right in to the characters, and to maybe it's a really serious scene, but four seconds prior, we were laughing about some fart joke. Uh, and, you know, one, one guest star was just like, who are you people? <laughs> like, they couldn't understand how, how we got any work done. And I, I thought about that, it's the exact question you're asking is, I think that's how we get the work done. 